Happy automation. Today we are going to see how we can select a selection from a select tag like a, here you can see a drop down in other words it's a selection we are going to see how to select a via Toma we'll move on if your drop down is a select element like you will press F12 to move in that buffer move you can see her element you can see it's a select tag this means you can select this element by Atoma you can select the element by by default activity in Atoma we'll move on it here when you will move on a form you can see uh, select by default it's a text field but if you will select here a select then you can select your option in a select field in our case here, here is a select we'll press here select here is a two type of option by which you can select your option in a drop down first by value you can see her option you can select by it's a value as we can see here is value of this option is ui vision you can select this option by ui vision and so on you can see here values of options here and we'll select here a ui vision it's mean second option now i'll test it as you can see here it's successfully selected in a select and now we'll select by its index here is by default define a first option and last option and you can also here a select custom option in a custom option you can put here index of your option if i want press here uh, ua vision for enterprise priority and then i'll need to put here three this is index of it so put its index and i'll test it you can see that it's successfully selected here is another problem is that uh, if you have a which is not a select tag then you'll need to go by click first you click on a, it's a select element and then then go on a, its option purpose of this talk that uh, you cannot select an element which is other than select tag you can see here just a select tag option and uh, here is someone asking about uh, that how we can export a workflow of atoma so for it uh, when you will go on a atoma form you can see here your workflow here is a more option when you press here you can see here a export option when you press here it will download your workflow in your download directory open it and for another user which you want to import this workflow that uh, can be press your workflow add a workflow and here you can see the port workflow and then move there it's present like a uh, here i'll select and then open it will import your workflow you can use it i hope you are understand about problem if you have any confusion you can comment below this video